Hello friends, followers and channel members and welcome to another quick video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 where today we're going to be talking about a new aircraft profile for use in SimBrief. Now those of you that are familiar with SimBrief and use it as a planning tool to create your operational flight plans will most likely have been using their Airbus A320 profile or perhaps a modified A320 profile which you may have got either from me or fly by wire themselves so that all the weights and everything match up. However, the engine profile from Simbrief was using the older CFE engines and not the engines on the Airbus A320neo. Well, good news. Simbrief in the last few days have brought out an Airbus A320neo profile. So that's what we're going to be interested in using from now on. If you go to Simbrief and you select the airframe, normally you could select either one of the save ones you have up here or you'd most likely be selecting the Airbus A320. Well now you can see below it is an Airbus A320neo profile that you, uh, that you can use. Of course, this is a default profile from Simbrief, so it's not quite tweaked for use in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Some of the weights are uh, are different, uh, maximum fuel allowed, maximum zero fuel weight, maximum passengers, etc, etc. So what I've done is I've created a new airframe for you to download and use for in Simbrief, and it now matches up uh, perfectly with the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, the Airbus A320 from Fly-by-Wire, the A32NX. Um, one of the things you will be aware of, of course, is the fuel factor. Now, the fuel factor uh, set zero is the default fuel burn. After running a few tests in the simulator, um, I've discovered that a fuel factor of zero, so basically the default fuel burn for this A320neo aircraft profile is uh, a little bit on the optimistic side in that it may leave you a little bit short uh, compared to uh, the amount of fuel that is burnt. Uh, so what I have gone and done is, as I say, I've created a new profile based on the A320neo engines from Simreef, which is now available just here, the A320 uh, 251N, uh, which I've named Microsoft Flight Simulators A320NX fly-by-wire, as that's the aircraft that I fly most often. And you can see automatically that uh, when selecting that, the default fuel sets to a performance factor of plus 8%. So this operational flight plan that I generate in a moment is going to load about 8% more fuel for use f in the uh, in, in the simulator. And after a couple of tests, that seems to be working pretty well. Uh, so let's just go ahead and test that. So if we just create a quick uh, flight plan just here, uh, over to uh, over to Amsterdam. Uh, let's generate that there. We're not going to go in and tweak any uh, anything else. Let's uh, let Simbrief do its thing. So this just takes a second or two. There we go. So now that's been done, let's go and check all the weights, make sure everything matches up here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, so uh, very quickly, let's just get power on. We'll get the external power on as, uh, as well. And over on the fly plaid, I've got my uh, Simbrief name there. Let's go to back to the dashboard and then pull that flight plan that we've just created in. There it is. So dispatch operational flight plan and here is all the information that we've uh, that we've got. All right so let's have a look at the fuel then. So we need to load about 4.2 tons of fuel to plan the uh, planned block. So if we go to this page and set around 4.2 tons, doesn't need to be exact. Um, there we go, that'll do. Always better to be slightly higher than below, of course. Uh, we'll just set that to instant so it's done instantly. And that's now done. Let's come down here to the McDo and pull that information in from uh, Simbrief. So over to the Atsu menu, AOC, init press. There we go, that's all uh, all pulled in. Back to the AOC menu then, right, to the performance weights and balance page. This is where we're going to check that everything matches uh, matches up. So we don't need to touch the fuel page just here, that's just been loaded in from the electronic flight bag. Let's go to page two, and this is the interesting page. So, 
Uh, number of passengers 177. The payload is 18408. Let's check that matches up. 18408. Good. Uh, and the things that I've changed for this profile uh, that you can go ahead and download now is things like this, the maximum zero fuel weight, maximum fuel, maximum takeoff weight, maximum landing weight. These now all match up with this aircraft here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So all of these are correct. And one of the things we're going to check now is the zero fuel weight. So this should be correct at 59.4. Uh, so let's double check. Zero fuel weight, 59.4, spot on. So we're happy with that. Zero fuel weight center of gravity, which we would get from the weights and balance screen here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, which is 26.9. And of course, you can play around with that if you uh, if you wish. Just make sure, that now I've moved it, 26.7, that there, and that there matches, 26.7. There we go, and let's put that payload in. Okay, so I now lo I've now loaded the fuel, I've now loaded the passenger weights. Let's have a look at the current weight of the aircraft, which is found here on the lower ECAM. So the gross weight of the aircraft as it stands now is 63.7 tonnes. Let's go back to the operational fly pad. And you can see there our takeoff weight is predicted to be 63.4. So, of course, the takeoff weight is going to be slightly less than the current weight right now because we've got to start the APU. We've then got to taxi out to the runway. So, that's good. Everything works. The zero fuel weight weights are correct. The takeoff weight looks uh, correct as, uh, as well. And we know that by altering that fuel burn to plus eight, that all our fuel checks along our, uh, our flight should be accurate as well. So what you need to do to download that is if you check the video description, there's a link in there. It looks like a huge link. That's just the way SimBrief creates it. Clicking on that link, that will pop this SimBrief profile into your uh, SimBrief fleet so that you can use that and uh, enjoy the Airbus A320NX with correct uh, with correct weights and correct fuel burn thanks very much for watching guys hope you found that video useful if you have any problems please leave a comment down below i'll come back and, uh, and try and help you and of course if you have found this useful please do consider subscribing and uh, liking the uh, liking the video as well thanks very much everybody and i'll see you all again very soon bye bye